What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and this is basically the 100th episode uh, for AppSheet and this is very special to me because I guess it's been a past few years that we've been doing this together with all of you and I guess we made it guys. We have already reached the first milestone and of course hundreds of episodes to come uh, with regards to AppSheet and other series as well. And of course, this would not have been uh, possible without your support. And I would like to thank all of you for uh, being with me since day one and until today. So uh, with that being said, um, of course, uh, there are some of you who, are, who have actually participated in my membership program. Um, I am actually uh, going to um, release the first uh, benefit for members. That is, you are now able to request uh, a copy of an app that have uh, any apps that has been used throughout all of my tutorials. Simply drop an email, and I will provide you a code and instructions on how to claim the app as well. Okay, back to the tutorial. Uh, we have actually a very uh, interesting case by Mr. Sofian. Sofian, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So my guess is he is from France. So the question is as follows. So basically, um, Sofian wants to actually sum the score. I'm guessing this is basically uh, soccer related, or some may call it football, where he wants to sort of sum uh, the total score for the team uh, as long as it actually falls under the official game category. So I guess this is something that we can actually do. Definitely we can do in AppSheet. So of course, without further ado, Let's check it out. Okay guys, so to start off our tutorial, as usual, I will show the data structure that I'm using for this tutorial. So I have the unique ID, the home team, the home score, the away team and away score. And last but not least, we have the type of game that is being played for the particular match. So here you can see whether it is either official or non-official games being played. Then I've created another table. Uh, again, this is just one way of displaying the summary. So I created a separate table called summary. And in the table itself, I have only one column called unique ID, which I'll explain later as to why I've done it so. Again, uh, this is one of the easiest way for me to showcase what needs to be done to get the result that Sofian wanted. Now, as usual, once we have all in place, we can head on straight to appsheet.com and create our app. And here you can see I have two of the tables in where I have the scoreboard table. Uh, unique ID, home team, score, and last but not least, uh, least the type of game. Alright, so this is quite straightforward. This is more like a data entry table, but I want to bring to your attention to the summary table, where I have the unique ID as uh, what we call the physical column, I guess, since we have virtual the other way. So I have created uh, five virtual columns. To create your own virtual column is easy. All you need to do is head on to the top right corner of the table uh, settings. You can see virtual column right next to the regenerate schema. All right, so I've added five of the virtual columns and each of the columns would have their respective formula. I'll just show one of the example here, which is the turtle team, all right? And the formula or expression I'm using uh, is basically uh, summing the score 
for official games. And here you can actually see I, I've set two sets of uh, expressions in one. Uh, the reason is since the team can either be in home or away for that particular match. Say for example here, if the turtle team is residing on home, therefore the score for the turtle team would be within the home score column. And perhaps some other days, the turtle team would be in away. So that is why I have two of these sets of expressions in one to actually overall uh, sum the total score for turtle team uh, as long as the games that's being played by the team is the falls under the official category. Okay. And this is the same for other teams. Uh, if it's bird team, then we'll just change the home team and away team uh, identifier to bird. And it goes on and on for other teams as well. All right. This is just to showcase. I mean, you can get creative uh, in your own way on how to display. Uh, and of course, once you have that in place, uh, the app itself would definitely calculate the different uh, score, uh, the total score, sorry, for each of the team. Say for example, let's uh, focus on total team since that is being requested by Sophie. So here you can see uh, the home score under the official type for total team, which is one, two, two, and of course, one over here. And overall, if we sum it up, it would definitely be six. And the rest of the teams would also apply the same. So this is something uh, quick and easy that we can try today if you have something similar for your case. All the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't so that you may find more contents like this in the future. And for members, don't forget to actually request uh, any apps that you would like to have a copy from any of my tutorials. Uh, and for those who are interested to be a member, you can actually drop uh, join uh, the membership program that's available in this channel. I'm not forcing you to, but I guess this is how I thank to all the members for adding additional support uh, since everyone has been great to me. And so I guess this is one of the ways for me to give back to you. And of course, don't forget to drop a comment. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of comments that I'm yet to actually entertain. But of course, if you have anything in mind, drop uh, a comment in the comment section down below so that uh, we can keep on adding more episodes for this series. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.